Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today. I appreciate those of you watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're new, hey, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you don't, you don't. If you do, great. Uh, continue watching other uh, reviews, I guess. So let's talk about Fallout. Uh, this is on Amazon Prime. It's based off the video game with the same name, uh, Fallout. I had played the video game, like I didn't finish it though. I played like the first five hours. And I don't even remember which one it was. It was a long time ago. My kids were young. I was in college. I was working. So I didn't really have time. So I just stopped playing it. Uh, so I know very little about the series. I know enough. Uh, if you don't know what Fallout is about whatsoever, it's basically like an alternative, alternative universe where in the 1950s, uh, the nuclear war actually happened and destroyed everything. And But uh, it's not exactly from the 1950s. As you see, the technology they have is a little different from the actual technology that were from the 1950s. And so uh, you basically have two groups of people, I guess you could say. You got those who made it to vaults, and then you have people who didn't make it to vaults, and they're living on the surface. And uh, But what this series portrays, you know, there's a lot of vaults, and uh, this particular vault that it covers, Vault 33, are lead character Lucy lives in a vault that looks like takes place in Nebraska. I know it takes place in Nebraska because that's what they said. So it kind of has like a farm life. Uh, they have those 50 values about family, raising a good family. And then once uh, the all the uh, radiation goes away from the surface, surface they're going to rise to the surface and make the world a better place. That's the goal of their vault. Uh, and they're all in like, there's like three vaults in a group. So there's 31, 32, and 33. Uh, then you got the outside world, which is kind of like lawlessness a little bit, like the Wild West type of thing. Even one of the main characters is like a Western type of guy. He's a cowboy, uh, but he's a ghoul. Oh man, I can't pronounce ghouls very well. I think that's what you call him. Uh, and he's kind of like, you know, your Western thing. And if you think about the 1950s, Westerns were like a big day. Like if uh, if they're going to base if for example they were going to base a show like this that would like we had a nuclear war in like the last ten years everybody would be like superhero type of movies based off superhero type of movies you know because that's how uh, popular the superhero uh, type of shows were during this time period I think they're finally starting to go away. Uh, but in the 1950s, it's all Western. So you got like a cowboy type of guy out there. Thinks he's John Wayne or has to be John Wayne, right? 1950s, that's a little bit before Clint Eastwood. Uh, <laughs> anyways, but that show is very well shot, you know. Thank you for uh, hanging out there. Here, uh, listen to me to me rambling on. But it's very well shot. Uh, very good cinematography. Acting is terrific. Uh, the writing is really good. Uh, they really do cover the rainbow. Um, uh, what do you call them? The rainbow group very well uh, it's probably one of the best shows i've seen cover uh the rainbow group i'm gonna call them rainbow group you know uh like because it's not their main attribution you know their main characteristic is like hey i'm gay you know a lot of these westerns uh shows that come out of hollywood like the main uh the best thing of the of a gay character is that he's gay. It's like that's the only thing to really focus on. I don't focus on anything else. It's like, oh, I'm gay. That's the best thing about me. And this show, uh, I think they really do cover like, you know, yeah, this person is transgender, but he's just transgender. But they're actually a really good fighter. Talking about uh, Dane, I believe is her name, uh, from the um, the um, Brothers of Steel or the Steel Brotherhood, something like that. Anyways, you know. Yeah, she's a transgender, but she's a really good fighter. She's good at her craft, and she's very well trained, you know. And she does have a flaw that, you know, she was, uh, she was, um, ranked, uh, she was, uh, promoted, right, to go out in the field, but she was scared, so she actually hurt herself, and so she wouldn't have to go out there, which then, you know, put our other main character out there. Man, what was it? Marcus. No, Marcus? Not Marcus, I can't remember his name, is uh, Maximum, right? Maximum. Puts Maximum out in the field there because uh, he gets blamed, like, because he has jealousy tendencies type of thing, but he gets blamed. Uh, and he, uh, you know, so he's forced to go out in the field and we see his character growth as he's serving this knight of the brother, still brotherhood and stuff like that. And knight's kind of like a bad person, you know, I'm trying to keep this. Uh, friendly here, uh, 
and he's not really, you know, he's a knight, but he's kind of like a coward as well in type, you know, he's kind of pompous uh, and arrogant, and but he doesn't have the skills to back up his arrogancy. And so we see how uh, Maximus, um, that is Rudin's name again. Anyways, see how his character grows. You know, this ain't the worst review channel in the world for nothing. Uh, anyway, see how his character grows. He gets very good growth. And um, and then we see, like, the... So we see their society, like the Brotherhood Society. Like, they're all honor. Uh, it's really revolved around honor and manhood, you know. They're very manly people. Um, I'm trying to think if I saw any women. Was there, were there any women knights in that in the Steel of Knights? Uh, if you see this before, let me know because I can't remember if there was like any women knights. I don't think there were. They're all men. Uh, now think about it, men soldiers. You know, that is a very interesting concept in today's uh, TV shows and movies. And then you got like the, and you, so you see the contrast between them and then like I said, the vaults, especially this vault because you find out like every vault has this different type of society, different type of uh, uh, just different type of morals i guess to say but they're all i don't know what morals are really but uh just a different type of functioning okay because uh, uh, all the vaulties they have those 1950s core value values about family unity working together uh one for all one, what's that what's that uh three musketeer one for all for one and one for all mentality you see that in the vaults and so then you go to the brotherhood and you see like they they got the same kind of mentality but it's like a, a more masculine, more machismo, you know, nothing wrong with that. I love me some good machismo, uh, stuff like that. And then you get like the world, the uh, the surfies, I think they call them, or the out, whatever, the people out there who didn't go to the vaulties. And then that society is very much like uh, all for me and me for none of you type of thing. It's all for self-preservation. You don't trust anybody around you. Uh, if you do, they've really got to earn that trust. And even if they do earn tr that trust, you still don't trust them, right? You can't even trust your best friend. You can't trust your family or anybody. So uh, I like how all three uh, of the societies are portrayed very well developed. Um, and then, like I said, the writing's good. And it basically starts off with our uh, good friend here, Lucy, her dad, getting kidnapped, stolen away. And she has to go and on a mission to uh, retrieve him. You know, she's going to rescue her father. And she meets uh, these other characters, the ghoul, who's been around for about 200 years. Uh, and he's just kind of like... Uh, you see, he's just a, he's a, really is a bad guy, but they want to portray him as a, as a great character. Uh, but he's a bad guy. Uh, and, uh, the only time he's really good is if it fits his needs, you know, if, you know, the only way he's going to do something good in the world is if it serves his own purposes type of thing. And then our big friend Maximus, you know, he's all about honor. He's going to help you out. He's a good guy. He's more, his values are more aligned with Lucy's values. And that's why they have a great uh, relationship. And uh, if there's any downfall, there's like, you know, I don't have very many negative things for this. So I'm going to highly recommend this show. Uh, it's a must-see must -see show right here. Especially if you like dystopia stuff uh, kind of shows. It's probably one of the best ones out there. Uh, kind of reminds me of the show She, way back. Uh, I did a video about it way back, She. But it's done a lot better than She. Um... Uh, and the dystopia function, you know, of it, and kind of how society is. It's kind of really does resemble the movie She, but She's like a B-movie, terrible writing, and this was fantastic. Uh, so anyways, the one negative thing I have is about, uh, at the beginning, we see that these outsiders, they are able to uh, to uh, break into the vaults and then pretend like one of them is going to marry uh, Lucy type of thing. For your first episode, so it's that bunch of a spoiler there. Uh, we find out though that, um, and this is a spoiler part, the episode uh, that uh, Vault 32, which is the vault they broke into, seems like these people have been killed for years. And like, uh, we find out like, you know, they're all always communicating with each other. So, how did the father, her Lucy's father, who is like the head of her vault, not realize that uh, these people broke into, broke in? you know, uh, are broke into the, to vault 32. Like you guys haven't been communicating with them for a long time. 
So, uh, and these people have been dead for like, this is like for years and such. So how did you not know that, uh, you know, that something might be suspicious with these people coming in from uh, Vault 32? You know, it's, that's a little bit of a, like a plot hole type of thing. Uh, but overall, writing's great. It's a great show. Check it out. You'll enjoy it. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. And until next time, uh, bye.